Man, this is a good pass. Come on down and open up your eyes and get yourself big old hunk of dangerously delicious pies. Dangerouspies.com. Here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, day three of our live Super Bowl coverage. It's all brought to you by ToyotaLiveWeb.com, Coors Light, the Rocky Run Tap and Grill, the Cats and I Group, and Magic Messenger. And our next guest, they got you up early, by the way, Terrell Davis. I mean, oh, can't, that's okay. can't they get these in here at 3 in no, the afternoon what? for you? I, I, love, I love getting up early. That's what I do, you know. <laughs> can't sleep at night. I have to get up early and uh, start my day. I got up early Monday morning. I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to get here, just to get to Phoenix. So it's no big deal. It's okay. Super Bowl week. You've been there, done that, got yeah. the T-shirt. What are they going through? I mean, for some of these guys, it may be Michael Strahan, a couple of guys from the Giants have been there once or twice. Yeah. Uh, well, been there once and now twice. But for some of these guys, brand new experience. Casey and I have been talking about this all week. The, you know, getting up in front of the media and making sure you don't say the wrong thing yeah. and all that stuff. I mean, it is, as a player and a guy that's been there, does that – kind of consume you early in the week because you got so much of this stuff to get out of the way yeah early in the week is it's pretty much um, dealing with the media trying to soak in where you are why you're here uh, trying to enjoy the trip because after really today is when you start to focus on the week you start to focus on the game and you want to get back into a normal routine for most players but um, I think most of these guys right now are, are excited that media day is over with yeah, get that out the way and now it's uh, again like I said it's time for them to try to focus on on get on the game uh, I think that we had to practice it today I like practice again and um, you know it, 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 it's, it's about trying to enjoy it you know trying to enjoy soak soak in as much as you can right now because this week it, uh, it it's pretty slow early in the week but then it speeds up uh, later in the weekend so uh, just enjoy while they're down here uh, Terrell Davis in town along with Barry Sanders. In fact, we'll talk to Barry later on today. Uh, teaming up to make your game day better, and uh, we're going to talk to you about this in a couple of minutes, a Miller Lite eBay charity auction that will award uh, the highest bidder a visit from both uh, Barry Sanders and Terrell Davis. Kind of a cool thing. They're gonna, you're going somewhere on the third, right? Yeah, you just don't, I, I don't, you just don't, I don't know, know where. You don't know where yet. I don't have a clue, but I did it before with Marcus Allen. It was pretty cool, so uh, very, it, it's fun. And, uh, you know, getting Barry and I will be there. I get to pick his brains. Get to, Talk to, talk to the guys and have a good time. And invite all your friends over, you know, invite your friends over. Be plenty That'd be a pretty good phone call to make at 8.30 in the morning. Huh, Casey, call your friends and go, what are you doing today, by the way? I want to watch the Super Bowl. You know who's coming over to my house? No, who? Well, a couple <laughs> guys named, uh, uh, you ever heard of them? Terrell Davis and uh, Barry Sanders. They they were okay in their day. They're going to come over and watch the game with us. It's not bad. That'd be That's pretty cool. Bad. be a pretty good phone call to make. And you know what your buddies would say, right? <laughs> come on, dude. Watch Terrell Davis. Show. And then, you, then when the, you finally you take the picture Terrell with Davis. your cell phone and you go, should have been here. Yeah. Should have been here. So we're going to talk to you about that in a couple minutes. All right. Hey, guys talk about this week that you got to just approach it like it's another week. It's just a normal week. How easy is that to do? Because you've got media day. You've got... NFL Network following, you know, every day you've got a press conference every day. You've got, you know, you're looking at every newspaper and T.O.'s got this party and this guy's got that party. Is it that easy just to approach it as another week? It, it's not that easy, but uh, you still have to focus on that and try to make it a normal week because if you don't, if you change, if you start changing things, then I, I really think that you are making it bigger than what it is. It, it really is a Super Bowl, but if you, I told myself this when I played, I said, well, I've played in a thousand football games before. And so what makes this game any different? It's, it, it's still played within the same, you know, 100 yard field by 55 or whatever the uh, dimensions are. Um, it's, it's still gonna be played with the same offense that we've been playing with all year. Um, you know, we, we hadn't played Green Bay when we played them the first time, but. It, it, it was no different than any other game in my mind. Um, and, and that's the way I tried to approach it. And, and I think you take pressure off of yourself by doing that. If you start to, to make this game bigger than what it is, I think you, you put pressure on yourself to try to perform. And sometimes that's not the best thing for you.